I never explain things correctly to everybody when I speak. Some understand, some don't. So if you're watching this and you're at the end, you're like, I don't know what he's talking about. You're going to have to message me to have me under or explain it to you. I'm sorry. My life is full of people telling me I don't understand you. Which most people do. Well, no, not even most people. Some people do. So with some people that are doctors and psychiatrists and counselors and teachers understand me, everybody should be able to understand me, and I sincerely apologize if you do not. First of all, can you see your ears and eyes right now? No. You can't. You can see them if you look in the mirror or a reflection. I have created four pictures, which I call... the four stages of spirituality. Well, yeah. And the third one being something you can't change. So, when you're asleep, that would be the fifth thing because, like, you've got, you're sleeping. you got a sleeping you, you got a laying. Uh, when you're, okay, when you're asleep, you're asleep. When you're, when you're trying to sleep, you feel different. When you're awake and doing things, like working, you feel different. When you're meditating in the lotus position, like the Buddhists do, with their eyes closed, you feel different. And then the fifth thing would be your subconscious mind, which is not really yours, because that would be more like your higher power or God, or something you can't change because everybody has a subconscious mind. So we're going to start off with, I'm sleeping right now, and then I wake up, and then I close my eyes to go back to sleep. So as I'm closing, my, as my eyes are closed, and I'm trying to go back to sleep, this is where you are. So, as you can see, I don't have a slideshow made to present this. Um, my bad. Uh, so, you got your eyes are closed, you got your nose, you're breathing through your nose, and your eyes feel like black diamond eyelids. It's the uh, sleep feeling you get if you're trying to fall asleep, and then it turns into white, I'm assuming, to fill you up. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I can't take a picture of my sleep <laughs> state. So, or a spiritual picture of my sleep state. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. That's just a dream. I don't know. So, a spider's just a string. Close your eyes, son. My eyes are closed. That, that, there's an eyeball in the nose there. That's your third eyeball, which mine's green because my other eyes are green. Uh, your third eyeball is your penile gland. Your penile gland is directly above your brain stem, and it looks down on your visual cortex. Your visual cortex is what your two other eyeballs look through when you're awake. The penal gland is a real thing, and it looks like a little eyeball if you look at a picture of it. <coughs> so, this is the state of mind that you are in as you are trying to sleep. Now, as you wake up, this might make some of you think about, oh my gosh, she's such a bitch when she wakes up, or whatever. But, this is your body. This is where all of your sins come from. The feelings you get help you create sin because you don't feel correct. Now, these are all mirror image pictures. Um, and there's a difference between left and right brain dominance and left and right eye dominance. Uh, look it up if you want to know your eye dominance. So, 
the left eye dominant people are well there's alligators in the driveway I was born left eye dominant however uh, an accident caused my eye dominance to switch and now I wrote down there used to be alligators in my driveway you've got the yellow side that has a foot coming out of the eyeball or the center of the eyeball where the color is and there's a bumblebee on the end of the foot that represents everything yellow because yellow is an iffy color <clears throat> so peach smell like mustard but it can change according to feeling and emotion and what's going on and how happy or sad or emotional you are The Playboy Bunny over there was just a rabbit. I didn't know how to draw a real rabbit good, so I drew that. But the rabbit feeling on the left side with the heart is more of what my son told me at age 9, that red is white. Or my heart feels like an alligator, according to Hunter S. Thompson. Now, we'll, we'll get to that later. So, the rabbit feeling is something everybody gets when they're turned on sexually um, pretty great I don't have sex though because no one likes me so whatever um, this state of mind is your body the last one was your mind And I don't think I have anything else to explain here on that matter. Oh, the foot over there is the next pathway to the next picture. Because when you sit your feet on top of your lap crossed, it's called the lotus position. And if you're going to do that, you want to use your foot that lines up with your eye dominant. So if you're right eye dominant, you want to use your right foot on top. <laughs> the best way to get to this place of mind would be to do it with your eyes closed and sit there for an hour while breathing through your nose and not swallowing. I know it may be hard to not swallow for an hour or it may be hard to be patient for an hour and just sit there. <coughs> but that's why Buddhism is a practice religion and it's not just like I go to church and listen. This is a self-practice religion. And I don't understand why everybody has their own religions, but for the religions that actually practice enlightenment, closed-eyed, lotus position meditation, you guys have got it correct. Because everybody on human, or every human on planet Earth has the ability to cross their legs in the lotus position and come and, and go and see their soul. So we're going to take the next journey to the next picture where you get into the state of mind where you can see your soul. This is a balloon. It represents one. It represents the beginning picture of getting into the land of seeing your soul. Or what you could call it, Wonderland. There are two ways to go to Wonderland. You can do it safely by meditating or you can do hallucinogen. Both hallucinogenic drugs and closed-eyed meditation cause hallucinations. This one is just a lot more controlled and you're not going to freak out and have a bad experience because you're actually doing it alone by yourself and you're practicing. A, it's just a better way. So you've got the right side of your face, which is more imagination, according to brain dominance as well, and thought patterns of subconsciousness. The right, the right brain people think with imagination and creativity, hence why there's nature out there, because we use nature to, to create cool things. You've got the left side over there that has your heart on that, because your heart is to the left of the center of your chest. So left eye dominant people live closer to their heart. Or the, your left eye is closer to your heart. 
everybody. Unless you don't have a left eye. Some people are like that. So once again, red is white. And inside the heart, it says, love falls. Now, the top of your brain, which my brain, is actually got a crack in the skull, really, really big, actually. Probably about two to three inches long. And we all know skull, that scars don't grow. So when I was two years old, I cracked my skull on a concrete stair, and I created brain damage <clears throat> with my... Uh, emotional center, so I do not know how to express my emotions properly. I try and it never comes out right, and I try and I try and I can only practice. I'm getting better at it now that I'm not on psychiatric medication because I am in the process of proving that I am not schizophrenic, and I pretty much have already done it since I'm going into school to be a doctor myself. I don't need these doctors telling me, which I'm a, just an unlicensed spiritual doctor because once you practice meditation like I have, you can't tell me that I don't deserve to be a doctor of spiritual meditation or of spiritual psychology. But I've already proven to God that I'm a doctor of spiritual psychology. I just have to prove it to man now. So because of my inability to express my emotions properly, the mouth over there is a jail cell. I'm in jail. My voice is in jail. I am conversationally ill. Now, the closed eyes there, the closed eyes represent my eyes being closed and me meditating with my eyes closed. Hence why it says I can only see at night. I'm more comfortable at night because I am so used to seeing my soul with my eyes closed. Once you see your soul with your eyes closed, you can't, you can't go back to whatever was going on before because I forgot. <clears throat> so... I think that explains those things. Um, the lines on the heart show overactive nerves. They're the ones above the heart are showing overactive nerves, which kind of represents my spinal arthritis. I have arthritis in my spine, and it causes my senses to be overactive. So the hallucinations that I used to have when I was awake and walking around happened because I wasn't able to understand my Buddhism religional practice of meditation. The reason I wasn't able to understand that was because of switching eye dominance because of a firecracker incident and also cracking my skull open so I wasn't able to understand how I was going to process my emotions on what happened when I actually reached enlightenment. So, I pretty much have closed my eyes forever and I live my life with my eyes closed. Hence why I have chocolate eyes tattooed on my neck. Now, I don't care who you are, but your favorite color should be the same color as your eyes. Like, that's just sound. <coughs> now, if your eyes were closed and I put my foot on your foot and said, Yellow Mommy's okay, how would you feel? Now, a picture of our subconscious mind, which we can visit with closed-eyed meditation in the lotus position, you can't quite get to feeling like it because that would be perfect mind, body, and soul, which is impossible. So this is a picture of your subconscious mind. I have found a video on YouTube that references this, studied by a doctor, but I cannot find the video on YouTube. It's some old guy, and he talks about the subconscious mind and what it looks like. So the subconscious mind is nothing but a yellow circle with a red slit down the middle of it. Now, if you do not understand this, just know that women hold the subconscious mind key. This is why women rule the planet. Women have ruled the planet since the internet has 
came out pretty much, I would almost say, as soon as television has came out, and no matter how much men thinks they are more important than women are, women hold the subconscious mind's power. So this is a journey of waking up to hitting a brick wall because you cannot be perfect. Try and sleep. Shit, I can't sleep. Oh, crap. I'm going to redo that. I'm going to redo that. Then I'm going to leave. Because I got to let's say. Oh, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I'm going to get up. Oh, God, this fucking. Today sucked my ass. My girlfriend broke up with me. I, my car broke down. I just, I don't know what to do. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to go visit my soul and try to get some peace. So I can see that I can't get in there yet. I can see that I can't get in there yet, but then I'm in there and I can't show you a picture of what it's like to be in there, in there, because I can't draw a picture of what you're going to have, well, what enlightenment is going to happen to you. All I can do is tell you it's going to be some sort of a translucent picture that's 360 degrees around you, and you're going to hallucinate. 